Thank you. Well, 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 democracy has prevailed. Well, listen, I am so proud to stand before you tonight as Michigan's Secretary of State. And I am honored, I am honored to have the opportunity to serve you for another four years. You know, in this election, democracy was on the ballot. Our right to vote was on the ballot. And tonight, democracy won here in Michigan because of all of you. You all showed the world that Michigan voters will vote for truth over lies. They will vote for facts over conspiracy theories. And they know the value of real results over empty promises. Democracy won tonight because thousands of people who supported this campaign knocked doors, donated what they could to help us reach every citizen in this state with a clear and simple message. Democracy is on the ballot. Democracy won tonight because we came together as Americans and Michiganders to stand for the basic ideals of our country, truth, equality, and the simple promise of one person, one vote. Tonight's victory is a result of Democrats, Republicans, independents all across our state making clear that they want a government that works for everyone. Where every vote is counted, and every voice is heard. You know, four years ago, I stood before all of you as we celebrated a new day for democracy in Michigan, a day in which our government would work for everyone and our elections would be a model for the rest of the country. And thanks to the hard work of so many of you here tonight, the hardworking men and women at our Department of State, the persistent efforts of our local election officials and election workers and voters of all backgrounds, we have made that vision a reality. We have modernized the Secretary of State's office, eliminating those long, line and long lines and branch offices. We have transformed our democracy, ensuring more Michiganders can vote and leading to the highest turnout elections in our state's history. So I'm standing before you tonight to simply say thank you. Thank you. But I'm also here to say this. Our work is not yet finished. In the days and the months ahead, the future of our democracy will continue to face challenges from conspiracy theorists, election deniers who are not going away. They may refuse to acknowledge the true and accurate results of the elections right here in Michigan and around the country or try to spread more lies and conspiracies to undermine the will of the people. So know this. I will not back down. No matter how many threats, lies, deceit, false rhetoric, or vitriol they throw at us, we will not back down. Because tonight we are celebrating that once again truth and democracy have prevailed. And in the days, the weeks, the months, the years ahead of us, we're going to continue marching forward, fighting for democracy together. We're going to build on our successes, protect the voices of every voter. We're going to defend our democracy in that basic principle in America that every voice is heard and every vote is counted. And I stand here tonight because of all of you. You worked harder than you did in 2018. You worked harder than you worked in 2020. You worked hard to make sure every single voter in this state knew that democracy was on the ballot. And so I stand here tonight to say also that it's gonna take all of us continue, continuing to work hard together to prevail in this fight for democracy in the months and years ahead. And in that work, we must always remember that truth is on our side. The law is on our side. History is on our side. And tonight, again, the will of the people is on our side. So thank you, Michigan. Thank you for standing up for democracy. 
Thank you for being in this fight. Tonight, we'll celebrate. And tomorrow, our work continues. Thank you.